Gargiti Glacier is a fantastic day hike from Kasbegi in Georgia. It's a tough trek with a steep 1600 meter climb, but the views make all the effort worth it. The trek has four main parts. The first part is from Kasbegi to Gargeti Trinity Church. While there is a hiking trail from the town to the church, there is also a paved road. We took a vehicle for this stretch, which saved us about one and a half hours of walking. On the way back, though, we walked this part. On the way to the church, we got some incredible views of Mount Kasbeck. We were lucky with the clear weather that day. The driver dropped us at the church parking lot and we started our hike. The time was 6.50 in the morning. This is where the second part of the trek begins. This stretch goes from the church to Cafe 360 which would take about 2-3 to three hours of walking. We took the smaller trail going up from the parking lot. Avoid the wider road. It may take you to a shepherd village instead of the glacier. The initial section here is a steep climb. A sheepdog joined us for a while but didn't stick around. As we climbed up, we got some nice views of Gargeti Trinity Church. As we climbed, the sun rose over the opposite mountains. Soon, we would be hiking in bright light. Mount Kazbek comes into view too. It will be our companion for most of the hike. Here is a fork in the trail. Both paths rejoin at Cafe 360. The left path goes through the valley while the right follows a ridge. We chose the ridge route for the views it offers. Here we passed a small forested area. I think this is the only stretch in this climb where we cross the forest. It looks like someone camped here for the night. Out of the forest, we entered a wide open area with amazing views.
The climb here is gentler than the beginning, but still it has some steep parts. We reached Cafe 360, a great viewpoint on the way to the glacier. Here, the valley trail also meets this path. We paused to take in the beauty. Across the way, we could see Altihut 3014, our next stop. This is the third part of the trek. The trail goes around the hillside without much altitude gain. It's a welcome break from the continuous climb so far. We headed down, crossed a stream on a wooden bridge and then climbed up to Altihat. Altihat is also a place to stay overnight if you would like. The final part is the climb to the glacier. It's a rocky terrain and also a tough climb as we are about 3000 meters in altitude. We crossed a few streams and there was a waterfall from one of them. The glacier was not far away. Wow! After about 4 hours of trek from Gargeti Trinity Church, we reached the glacier. It was time to relax and enjoy the beauty of the place.
Is it possible to cross the glacier? Yes, it is. And many people do. But you need mountaineering skills and gear. We saw many people climbing down the glacier, all wearing crampons. Without crampons, it's very difficult to climb and it's also extremely risky. But look at these horses, they don't need any crampons. It's amazing to see them handle the terrain. So this was our hike to this beautiful place. Thanks a lot for watching this video. See you later.